What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and sticking on the subject of the wide receivers uh, this week we are going to be talking about who is going to be leading the Jaguars in receiving yards this season and about what is the cap for each of these wide receivers as far as yards go. Kind of what's the over and under, what's the line for these wide receivers in terms of yards heading into 2019. I touched on the fact that I really don't think the Jags have a thousand yard receiver but who do I think is going to lead the Jaguars in receiving yards this year? Well, that's what this video is for, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, this is who is going to lead the Jaguars in receiving yards next year and what is the line for all these wide receivers in terms of yards. Number six, Terrell Pryor, 245 yards. I got Terrell Pryor slotted in at 245 yards for a couple of reasons. One, I don't think he's going to be the leading receiver for the Jaguars by any means, and I don't think he's going to really adapt to this scheme as well as, you know, these guys that have already been in it, you know, guys like Keelan Cole, D.D. Westbrook, Marquise Lee, these guys that have had, you know, two, three years in the system, they know how to play it. I don't think Terrell Pryor is going to be a big X factor this season. He never really was a big X factor anywhere he was as far as being a wide receiver goes, and he's also pretty injury prone. So I think 245 yards is fair. He's probably not going to be seeing the field a lot. He's probably going to be the sixth wide receiver on this depth chart, to be 100% honest. So I think 245 yards is even a little generous for Terrell Pryor. But hopefully everybody that I rank really low on this list can prove me wrong in 2019. I hope Terrell Pryor is one of those guys. But as of his injury issues and how he's played on other teams and other schemes, I don't have that high of hopes for him in 2019. But I do think he's going to be a good asset for the Jaguars as far as maybe a team morale sense is. But as far as his play on the field, I think he's going to be the sixth best receiver the Jaguars have, and I'm going to cap him out at 245 yards. Number five, DJ Chark, 350 yards. Last year, DJ Chark was not really a big factor, though he had some reps in, in 2018. And this year, I still don't think he's going to find his footing just yet. I think in years three and four is when DJ Chark's really going to come along. And I think, you know, this year, he's going to be kind of buried in the depth chart, kind of like Terrell Pryor. He's probably going to be fourth, fifth, sixth, somewhere like that uh, on the depth chart. So, you know, he's not going to be one of those go-to premier guys next season. But I have him at 350 yards, which is a pretty solid number for a fifth or a fourth wide receiver because I really don't think these tight ends are going to be playing much of a factor this season. So I have most of the yards coming from these wide receivers and I think 350 is fair. I think he's going to be good in the special teams game. I think he's going to be uh, out there returning punts or returning kicks in 2019. You know, there's just, there's a lot of flaw to his game and, you know, I was a really big fan of him last year and I really thought he was going to ball out and show us that he could do something but again I'm not necessarily over the world confident with DJ Chark's ability especially with his frame you know if he gets hit hard once like it's over like he does not have a big frame like he's tall and skinny like that is his frame if he gets licked hard once you know it's over you know he could get injured so I don't think DJ Chark is going to be this big x factor in 2019 unfortunately so I'm going to cap him off at 350 yards and say he's going to be the fifth leading receiver for the Jaguars in 2019. Number four, Keelan Cole. I have Keelan Cole on here, and I think he's going to be even deeper in the depth chart than Terrell Pryor and DJ Chark in 2019. Maybe not Terrell Pryor, but I think DJ Chark's going to have you know, a higher priority, you know, as far as going onto the field next year than Keelan Cole. But Keelan Cole is a big play guy. So I think he's going to be getting a lot of big plays. And I think that's going to, you know, kind of overshadow the fact that he might not have a good season next year. But the fact that he makes big plays and he makes things happen, I think is what we need him for. We don't need him to be, you know, one of our consistent you know, over 500 yard guy, you know, anything like that. We just need him to do what he does. And that's what he does is make big plays. I think he'll have a decent amount of touchdowns, maybe four or five touchdowns, but he's not going to be up there for the Jags in terms of yardage in 2019. I think that's kind of what we're here to talk about. And that's kind of what we're looking for. But like I said, Keelan Cole, he may not see the field a lot in 2019, but I think he's going to be the probably, yeah, with the exception of, of course, uh, D.D. Westbrook 
and Marquise Lee, who we have yet to talk about. I think he's going to be a very uh, big play threat. I think he's going to go out there, make some big plays, and show why he does deserve a spot on this roster, but I don't think he's going to blow you away in terms of stats. You know, maybe there'll, there'll be a couple of plays Keelan Cole makes this year that you'll say, wow, this guy has a lot of potential, and I'm glad he's on our team, and that's awesome. But like I said, statistically, I don't think he's going to have that great of the year. So that's why I put him at 350 yards, kind of similar to uh, DJ Chark. I don't think he's going to be doing crazy things I think he's just going to be right there and be average and that's all we really need Keelan Cole to be we just need him to make big plays and you know not make mistakes not drop the ball in 2019 number three Chris Conley 475 yards Chris Conley is going to be our X factor Chris Conley is going to be what DJ Chark was supposed to be last year and what Keelan Cole was in 2017 this guy's going to be the true X factor Yes, we talked about Keelan Cole and how when he gets out there, I think he's going to be making big plays and he'll be an X factor on this offense. But as far as a guy that comes in week in and week out and produces, you know, highlight real catches, highlight real plays, I think Chris Conley's that guy. Especially because he's small, he's fast, and he can make plays happen after the catch. You know, once he catches that ball and there's an inch of separation around him, Chris Conley can take that bitch. 50 60 yards you know he has that speed he has that ability and I love the fact that the Jaguars got him because he's going to be bringing that energy and that playmaking style to Duval County and he's going to dominate and he's going to be our third leading receiver in 2019 and be like kind of our true slot guy this year and I'm very very excited to see what Chris Conley can do next year because I think he's going to be the X factor. I think, you know, everybody's going to be kind of concerned with D.D. Westbrook and Marquise Lee, you know, trying to shut those two guys down. But Chris Conley is going to be the guy to get open and to make big plays. And like I've said numerous times, him and Nick Foles already have that chemistry, and it's only going to build in 2019. And I'm very excited to see what Chris Conley can do. I have him in at number three for the leading receivers for the Jaguars heading in to 2019. Number two, D.D. Westbrook, 800 yards. D.D. Westbrook will have a career high in yards this year, but he's not going to lead the team. I think D.D. Westbrook is truly a playmaker and truly could be the best wide receiver we have in 2019, but it seems like everybody thinks that. So I'm going to play a little bit of devil's advocate and say another guy is going to lead for the Jaguars in 2019. Not to say that D.D. Westbrook is a slouch because he's not. I think he's going to lead us in touchdowns this year. I think he has the ability to get open in short field in the You know, when he doesn't have a lot of room, he's really good at getting open. His football IQ is huge, like I said in the uh, position outlook video. This guy is definitely going to be a force on the field. He's going to be dominant, and he's definitely, he's going to have to go up against these number one, number two corners, and it really comes down to how open D.D. Westbrook can get against some of these, some of the game's top corners, you know, this year, and You know, with Nick Foles being your quarterback, you know, D.D. Westbrook might just ball out and have an over 1,000-yard year. I just don't think that we have a guy that can do that. And, you know, D.D. Westbrook, who is very talented, very good, uh, you know, hitting 800 yards is a very, very, uh, it's a good deal. You know, that's going to help him out either in contract time or, you know, maybe the next year take another leap and maybe become a 1,000-yard receiver the next season. But D.D. Westbrook coming in with 800 yards, being our second leading receiver in 2019, I don't have a problem with that, and I don't have a problem with him being number one because the guy that's going to be getting number one in the Jaguars' comeback player of the year is Marquise Lee, 950 yards. Marquise Lee has not hit over 1,000 yards his entire career, and this year I think he's just going to come this close to doing it. 950 yards for a Jaguar receiver is a lot. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's, like, more, like the most since, you know, Alan Hearns or Alan Robinson left. We haven't had a 1,000-yard receiver since the 2014-2015 season. And Marquis Lee, I think, is going to come back hungry, and he's going to show why, you know, we missed him last year and why he could have been a reliable guy and be an asset last year because he truly is a security blanket, and he was truly a security blanket for Blake Bortles. Like, he bailed Blake Bortles out a lot. And he's also very, very good on third downs. And he was Blake Bortles' favorite target on third down. There's a stat that they would throw out every game. Like, Blake Bortles has, like, this bet, like, this completion percentage to Marquise Lee on third downs. Like, the guy is clutch when you need him to be. And that's what I think he'll be in 2019. I think he'll have the most targets from any Jaguar in 2019 because I think Nick Foles is going to rely on him because he's been around the longest. And, you know, he's the, long- the longest tenured guy here except for Terrell Pryor. And I think he's going to ball out, get that 950 yards. He's not going to get as many touchdowns as D.D. Westbrook, but he's definitely going to carry the squad as far as yards go in 2019. And I'm very, very excited to see how Marquise Lee bounces back in 2019 for my team, your team, and your mom's favorite team. 
the Jacksonville Jaguars. And that was who will be the Jaguars' leading receiver in 2019. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can link me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks, or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.